what most members of the public don't realise is that hundreds of missiles worldwide are kept on what's called hair trigger alert. And what this means is the policy of launch on warning, namely that if there were an incoming radar signal of missiles being fired towards us, we would launch ours before those missiles hit. Use them or lose them. This is the doctrine of mutual assured destruction, which was in action. It's a vestige of the Cold War and it's still active. It meant that in the past, in 1983, we were 10 minutes away from a full-scale nuclear holocaust between the United States and the then Soviet Union. This can still happen today, tomorrow, the next day. General James Cartwright was head of US Strategic Command in charge of 5,000 US nuclear missiles targeted around the world. And he says that nuclear doctrine, as currently practiced, makes no sense. Why? Because nuclear forces are currently hit by countless cyber attacks. And in his words, he said, this applies to nuclear weapons command around the world. Either you're being hit by cyber attacks and you don't know it, or you do know it and you're not admitting it. How incredibly dangerous is that? These are weapons of mass destruction. And continuing to insist on possessing them and developing them is producing the exact opposite of what it's supposed to intend. Why? Because when nuclear weapons states insist that these weapons are essential for their security, that's a perfect recipe for other nations wanting to have them and going in that direction as well. It's time now for a treaty to be signed to make these obsolete weapons illegal forever, for everyone, and to build a cooperative security strategy, one which is part of our newly interconnected world that will actually address the problems that we face. We're now mired in old, out-of-date security thinking. And we have to move forward into a strategy that will actually protect us and give us safety in the modern world. Because the threats we face of terrorism, of jihadism, can't be dealt with by nuclear weapons. They're obsolete. They're finished. We need to get rid of them. Whereas the business world and the trading world have begun to see the incredible advantages of cooperation and working together. The world is interconnected. We need to let go of these old, threatening, separate, divisive strategies and work together and cooperatively for global security. A world that is peaceful and safe for everyone can be achieved. In order to do that, we have to work together. <laughs>